As your parents of the David Academy Relocates International School, welcome you to our online program. Yes, skill school is shut, but learning should continue. So here I want to put through the um, application. We use it for online study. We're using what we call quick schools. In quick schools, we have our parents log in, uh, teachers log in, and students log in. In this kind of uh, discussion, we shall have a teacher behind and a student at home. A teacher sends information and then the students read the information and then answer back. So our time frame for this discussion will be uh, for three hours, for a day, three hours of uh, contacts between a learner and a teacher. Where a teacher we shall start from the morning, 9 to 10.30, then that's one lesson done with work, giving, reading, and then just back. Then at 2 uh, to 2 to 9 to 3 to 40, uh, then that's the, the other lesson. And in evening, we shall post homework for kids to do. All this work is interacting with the teachers during those difficult hours. Raise to you, the teacher, the teacher raise back some reading materials, videos, and everything. Then the assignment is the objectives of that lesson. So we want to take you through the students login uh, during this course. Number one, you have to know the level of the language. If the kid is in middle school, you go up in your search engine, put Rockies, R-K-I-S, middle school, R-K-I-S, uh, middle, dot quick schools, .com. So when you get this, they will open for you the link and then you get a log where we have our school, our Royal Kids International School, then they will give you the username, the password. So the learner is supposed to put in the email, which is the username, and Something. then the password. gmail.com so depending on how to register with us in our system then the password uh, the password is in the video so they have to keep it for themselves then you press login you have to double check and see if the email is right and then we move on uh, if the student has the computer and belongs to them they can register and have this already in built. Yes. Mm. As you can see, it's in Tayomba. Uh, the rest is the username. The username is generated from the email. It can be the email or whatever that we use to send you this. And email. Yeah. So as it gets in, uh, the students photo information is going to come. You must have a stable internet when you give time. Then you will see our logo of the school and then we have what you call the home directory. And near the, the home dashboard we have the name of the student and then we have the home uh, class discussion and then uh, directory. So a student places in class discussion. When you place in class discussion, it opens for you to select the class. For that particular class, so the teacher will be behind there as the same instructions as you can see what has happened in today's classes. So the teacher will always be available, sends information, Sends instructions, learning objectives, the work that is supposed to be learned in that lesson, and then the questions. If there are videos, they are all attached there, then a learner will be positioned to see. It's a platform for them to share. So there will be some work that is like a file, like this work, it's a file. Then the student just gets in the file. 
then it highlights. So then you look down here, you see it downloading. So when it downloads, uh, that means there is a written work for a student to read. They can read, understand. As they read, they can still post problems they are finding in the work. Teacher, I don't understand this. I don't understand this. Then the teacher is there to guide them to do this work. After doing that, then the student can do their assignment and they give feedback. They give feedback, still they have a portal up here. There is other comment or feedback or whatever. So a student, if there are answers which are needed online, a learner can answer all oh, these places big enough to accommodate for the work the student is waiting. If anything, then the student can do on one separate offline, then uh, make a file for the work, then attach a file of the work they have answered, and then they repost it back. The teacher will be behind there, ready to receive this work and write it. So either way, you can do the writing here, or a student can go use a doc, or get it the same paper or questions that are saved for that lesson to be done. Then after answering them, then the kid can come here and say, attach a file. When you attach the file, the student will pick. The, 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 the file will be automatically uploaded, and then when they say post it, hey teacher, this is my work. Then once it is posted, it's still in position to download, map, and give feedback. That's what we call classroom.